This is a HeadGum Podcast. Greetings, Nadpoles. It is I, the Breakfast Wizard, here to talk to you about Magic Spoon, the sacred artifact I use to cast my serial mancy spells. After years of... Oh, what's that? Ah, oh, it turns out this is an ad for Magic Spoon the Serial, not by Spellcasting Focus. As such, I'm going to let Caldwell take over. Ta-ta! Hey gang, Caldwell here. Sorry about that. Real quick, here is what you need to know. Birthday cake flavor is back. That's right, this limited edition cereal was so popular that Magic Spoon brought it back, and now you can get it for yourself. For a limited time, Magic Spoon is offering a free box of birthday cake cereal with every purchase, including subscriptions. This cereal is normally $10, so this gift with purchase is a great deal. To take advantage of this offer, head to magicspoon.com slash day to grab a custom bundle of cereal and get a free box of birthday cake and try the magic for yourself. Remember, this exclusive offer is only available to NADPOD listeners. So go to magicspoon.com slash day to add a free box of birthday cake to any order. Magic Spoon is so confident in their product, it is backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if you don't like it for any reason, they will refund your money, no questions asked. Okay, the Breakfast Wizard is still loose in my house somewhere, so I have to go. Thanks for listening, and see you next time. Hey guys, it's Murph, your Dungeon Master. I'm going to be running the game for the podcast and for my players, Emily, Jake, and Caldwell. But first, I want to real quick plug our projects. Emily and I wrote a satirical relationship advice book called Hey You Up, How to Turn Your Booty Call into Your Emergency Contact. It's out now and you can get it on Amazon. Check out Caldwell on youtube.com slash drawfee, as well as on his podcast, What Should We Draw with Nathan Yaffe? And of course, listen to If I Were You with Jake and Amir. There you go. Plug's over. Let's get into it. Let's get into the back backstory for this campaign because it wouldn't be Dungeons and Dragons without me dumping a bunch of lore onto you up top. So without further ado, I welcome you to the realm of Bahumya. A few years ago, an evil necromancer attempted to conquer the realm in the name of Osmodius, ruler of the Nine Hells, but he met his match against three legendary heroes, Theala, the human cleric, Ulfgar, the dwarf fighter, and Alanis, the elf wizard. After a valiant campaign, the heroes amassed a great army and defeated the necromancer on the battlefield, then traveled to the Nine Hells and destroyed Osmodius himself. The realm rejoiced for a little while. Then everything started sucking ass again. The three heroes did everything you're supposed to do in a D&D campaign. They convinced the isolationist High Elves to join the war, they restored a rightful heir to his throne, and they toppled the Dark Kingdom, but those actions all have consequences. The High Elves are now on the verge of extinction, the rightful king is a terrible politician, and the orcs without a homeland have split off into nomadic clans and caused more trouble than they did before. This is a morally gray, post-war world that still has its share of problems, many of them caused by the very heroes that quote quote, saved it. To make matters worse, Theala, Ulfgar, and Alanis have gone into hiding and haven't been seen in over a year. Now, my players are going to try to clean up their mess. Welcome to the campaign after the campaign. This is not another D&D podcast. Let's meet our party. Hard one Surefoot, the bastard of the mountain, a human fighter raised by dwarves, thick of cap and quad, six foot six of muscle and beard, the great axe of iron deep, Pride of the Dwarfenage. Having dug further into Iron Deep than any man or dwarf before him, Hard One believes his next great adventure lies above ground and is set off to see the world. Beverly Togold, pure hearted halfling youth from the city of Galateron, a five leaf green teen novice paladin in pursuit of the ultimate merit patches. Beverly has never disobeyed his mom and is an extremely good boy. Moonshine Sabin, Crick Elf Druid. Lover of fungus and ambassador of decay. Her people were ostracized by the high elves to the dank shores of the creek, but now something's amiss at the old creek. Accompanied by her loyal possum, Pawpaw Gump, freckled, ferocious, and dangerously fertile. Welcome to the first episode of the podcast, everyone. I'm your dungeon master, Brian Murphy, joined by Jake Hurwitz, Caldwell Tanner, Emily Axford. Guys, we're doing it. 
Let's heard going on happening. Jake, your first D and D session ever, so, and it's being recorded. I'm so excited. <laughs> I got it. I'm just like, this is not a podcast to me. I'm just here. I'm just here for the fucking for the journey, man. <laughs> I'm here for the roles. <laughs> yeah. Also, Jake Hurwitz is not on this podcast. It's hard one short. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. That's Fully true. In character. Emily Axford right. is dead. She's six <laughs> feet under. So let me tell you guys a little bit about this place that you guys are going, and then you guys can tell the audience why your character is going to this village. Ooh. So you guys are going to the fishing village of Moonstone. So the village of Moonstone was founded 50 years ago by an old halfling druid named Thistle. Uh, she was a hermit who placed a powerful magic trident at the bottom of the bay, which lured in all sorts of uh, aquatic creatures from the sea and made for easy fishing. So soon the bay started to attract other settlers, and Moonstone grew from Thistle's singular little hut to a bustling village. But just as it was growing and establishing trade with nearby settlements, an evil dragon named Shadowfang took residence in an old abandoned keep in the swamp to the north of the village and began terrorizing them. Uh, so Shadowfang would send her henchmen, the lowly dragon-worshipping kobolds, to like collect gifts and taxes from the villagers under the threat of violence. Then that all changed two years ago when the legendary party of three heroes arrived in Moonstone, killed Shadowfang, freed the village from the grip of the dragon, and inadvertently left them open to a whole new slew of problems. Can, oh, I, can I ask a real quick question? Please. Where is Shadowfang's bot now? <laughs> uh, you don't know. Really? You know that I mean you know that he's dead. Yeah. You, his bone like you you I want to find his skeleton he and or, animate wait. it. <laughs> yeah, dude. He or she. She. Sorry. She. She. Okay. She. Yeah. Oh, it's a girl it's dragon. It's a lady uh -huh. dragon. A yeah, lady bitch. Dragon. How do you tell Queen, bow down. <laughs> How do you tell uh, a lady dragon from a male dragon? She has a big huge pussy tits. Instead, of a, <laughs> instead of a big dick. Huge dragon pussy. Just a huge dragon pussy? Just, just yeah, fire comes out of it all. <laughs> That's how you know yeah. she's red. The fire <laughs> a male dragon has enormous human-like testicles right. and just a swinging. giant... <laughs> Thick penis. Mm -hmm. It's so like she didn't have. That you don't she didn't have one of Lord those. Of the Rings. Right. Yeah. They're always <laughs> sitting on gold, so this you can't is, see. That's right. The they're truth. always fucking yeah. their gold. Yeah. <laughs> that Tolkien won't tell you. Uh huh. Is that dragons have dicks and pussies? <laughs> <laughs> really, you, I just want to tell you know like those uh, the movie where you just like see the shadow of the dragon flying yeah <laughs> just, like, <laughs> the, just, like, a dick, dick waving <laughs> waving in the air and it's just you first it's like slowly comes in you see the flapping wings and then behind it a flapping dick <laughs> god I would love to see just somebody recutting this I think on adding the journey, dicks on dragons would be really fun on the journey to Moonstone <laughs> Beverly is reading a book about dragons because uh, he's probably interested in like the lore of Shadowfang yeah. and he's like copying he's like underlining that passage Ooh, <laughs> what it's is... funny as as i was prepping for this i was worried i was like they're gonna ask stupid questions like how do dragons breed or something uh -huh. and i'm gonna need something and i'm like you know what no it'll be safe but <laughs> no now now dragons have dicks and pussies <laughs> yeah, okay that's you right. fucking stump me they have dicks can i just go back to beverly highlighting his copy mm -hmm. um can we just assume that you're using some kind of like berry to highlight <laughs> oh, that's cool. like there's some kind of berry that you're just squeezing At to highlight <laughs> Absolutely. It's got like, a bushel no, of highlighter like, berries. It's like a lightning bug. Ooh. Yeah. I've got like a quill with like lightning bug ink. <laughs> so, uh, guys, um, why are uh, Moonshine, why are you going to okay. Moonstone? So, as I've mentioned, I come from the Crick. Um, something's amiss at the Crick. But there's another <laughs> thing, too, which is that. <laughs> something's so, amiss at the Crick. Something's <laughs> amiss at the Crick. But I also am. So, basically, like, just real quick background on the Crick Elves. They are a maternal society. There is one Meemaw who gives birth to all the youngins. <laughs> I am one of. Um, and Moonshine has a lot of pressure to become the next Meemaw because she's so fertile. <laughs> but she doesn't she's not ready to make youngins she wants to spread spores so i'm kind of like i'm kind of like using the fact that there's something amiss at the crick as like a, a a reason to go out and adventure and not have to um just be a young and young and maker right right and why is beverly going to Moon, moonstone uh beverly's going to moonstone uh to meet up with the rest of his troop because there is a uh, a green teen jamboree <laughs> 
a green team jamboreen. <laughs> weirdly, green is team what it's called. jamboreen. That's what the flyer said. That's oh what my god, all... Moonshine's gonna see that flyer and be like, uh-huh. "Oh, jamboree, oh, boy, <laughs> jamboreen." All right, I love that. I love that hard one. And Moonshine are both going there to like satisfy their wonderlust. Right. And Caldwell's character just has a Boy Scout meeting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like literally in a field he's a trip. Meet up. Well, no. Really, he's the only one who actually has a reason to be there. <laughs> Everyone else is just like they're walking around and they went to this town. <laughs> um, yeah, I believe uh, my parents. Parents were a little concerned about me going to Moonstone because it's, you know, gotten a little less safe over the years. Um, but uh, my, my scoutmaster, who I'm meeting there, helped uh, helped convince them that it would be fine because, you know, like, there's going to be a lot of adults present. There's going to be a lot of chaperones. Um, and at the Jamboreen, I'm going to be working to earn a, a lot of the, the last patches that I need for my six. They're going to be uh, so quick question, proud of you. Quick question. Yes. yes. Um, are there girls go- that are going to be at the Jamboree or is this just sort of like an all there boy are There dance? are girls in the, I think in the are, green team. Yeah, I think it's there a, are. yeah. Oh, there are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, they pushed for it and, you know, there were some more a, kind of homophobic, sexist yeah. halflings that didn't want to let them in, right. but uh, they kind of got ousted. I mean, yeah, Whoa. Green Teens is still a super religious organization, Yeah, but they are are uh, gender neutral. Their, their Cub Scouts are still called the Boy Pals, even right. though there are Girl Pals in there. Uh-huh. Uh, so Hard Scout One, pals. why are you Scout going pals. to Moonstone? Uh, Hard One uh, left the mountain thinking that he was going to walk into any town and be well received, like with a parade, and uh, <laughs> instantly found out that nobody knew who he was and all the hotels were full. <laughs> <laughs> sort were... of a, j- a, a jacked Jesus, if yeah. you will. He... <laughs> He went in assuming he'd have a free room somewhere, and they were like, uh, you need a reservation. We're full. You don't have enough money. Uh, so he, many factors. So he didn't know what to do, and now he's wandered off the road. He's thinking he might uh, try to look for a fishing job in this village. Oh, okay. Uh, try to earn a little a little dough. Wow. Ooh. Earn a little scrap. Has yeah. he ever fished before? Is he no. just... <laughs> but hard, hard one is, I can do anything. <laughs> yeah, I bet you... I think... For you, fishing probably means like diving under the water and just grabbing a fish. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean that's definitely what it means for uh, that's definitely what it means for moonshine. Right. For moonshine, you make a little trap in the mud, mm-hmm. and oh. then the fish, <laughs> it's the, a mud fish, the Wait, fish fishing swimming. for the. Yeah. yeah well, so mud, at the bottom the of mud? oh, like in the bottom. Yeah, at the oh, bottom okay. of the creek. There's yeah. a lot of mud. Oh, you make right. a little trap. Sorry. Fish swims into it. I forgot it. that they were fishing in the creek. What then you do <laughs> is you you get a, a milk jug. You tie a fishing line. Well, to maybe it. there are not, there's not a lot of fish in the creek anymore. Something's right. amiss. That something's is true. Amiss there are not, not the nearly creek. as many fish some as there should be. Right. Hey. Some ain't right in these here woods. And the fish that are there, they're, sw- they're swimming I'm the wrong way. <laughs> I'm picturing that scene from Lord of the Rings where Legolas says blood has been spilled this night, but he just goes, <laughs> something ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> something ain't right in the creek. All right, guys, let's get into it. Nice. Um. Uh. So. And the skeeters. The skeeters have taken over the creek. <laughs> oh, they're biggins too. <laughs> Exterior moonstone night. I'm just kidding. I didn't actually write that. <laughs> I was kind ready. Epic, right? I shut the. I shut the. I've never heard. I've never heard of yes, fuck daddy. up and yeah. perked up. Yes, daddy storyteller. Yeah. Okay, so a man in a hooded cloak makes his way in a moonstone after traveling many miles off the main roads to the east. Uh, He had no trouble finding it even at night. The glowing waters of the enchanted bay light up the entire village with a white-blue glow like snow reflecting moonlight. A dirt path leads him past simple stone houses with thatched roofs, many of them covered in moss with purple and yellow and white flowers. It smells fresh, like a spring rain, which is not something that one might expect of a fishing village, but clearly the influence of the druids is strong here. He heads for the only building in the city that appears to have any life at this hour, the Hungry Trout Inn and Tavern. He enters to the sounds of an old bard playing a jaunty tune on the fiddle. Caldwell, can you give me a little fiddle sound? (laughs) <laughs> all right, there's a fireplace on the far... All right, Caldwell, cut. <laughs> <laughs> More fiddle, Caldwell. <laughs> oh, that is... Emily, a, a washboard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that should oh. be my instrument. You, you can know have how a I washboard. Have... Write that down yeah. in your inventory. Okay, I right. was going to play... I was going to play, because as an outlander, I get a musical instrument. I was going to play the a blade of blade grass. Of... <laughs> But can I have Murph? Can I have a washboard and a blade of grass? You can have a washboard and a blade of grass. Sure. (laughs) Are you going to find a blade of grass? So this this cloaked man enters uh, the tavern to the sounds of an old bard playing a jaunty tune on the fiddle. There's a no. (laughs) (laughs) I should have never asked for this. 
<laughs> okay, so there's a fireplace on the far right side of the room, and lanterns with candles uh, fill the tavern with a warm glow. Closest to him is a group of three fishermen sitting at a table drinking ale and sharing a quiet conversation. Across the room near the fire is a group of four barbarians, drunk and rowdy. Sitting at the bar is a single young 20-something halfling boy. Um, sitting by himself, nerv- nervously sipping his drink. The bartender is an older, half-orc woman, sturdy and serious. She bears a horrible burn scar across the entire left side of her body. The man, the traveler, the bastard of the mountain, takes off his hood <laughs> and removes his goggles of the night. Wait. The strong-jawed, pensive face of Hard One Shorefoot surveys the scene. I don't like this. It makes it seem like he's the main character. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, fiddle player. What, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm I'm standing there drinking in this, the beautiful sounds of the fiddle. <laughs> Homeless, God. by the way. <laughs> right? Jake's, Jake's first move, <laughs> Jake's first move playing d d is drinking in the sounds of a fiddle. <laughs> uh... I think you're going to be pretty good at this. <laughs> <laughs> I let the fiddle <laughs> wash over me. <laughs> so I heard one, one just standing at the doorway, just like kind of tapping his toes and someone, just like listening to the fiddle. Someone standing never behind heard you. Being, before. Someone standing behind you being like, sorry, can I just, you're just you're standing in the doorway. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, this God, your shoulders are so broad. <laughs> you're just like a huge man. I can't get around right you. in the doorway. <laughs> if you could please just step aside. I'm gonna go over. I'm gonna go over to uh, this half orc woman. Okay. And order uh, the biggest beer that they have. Uh, you see, as you walk in, you order the biggest beer they have. <laughs> this old orc wo- half orc woman just looks at you with disdain and goes, "We have one size. <laughs> I'll just go get you an ale. <laughs> then I'll have two. <laughs> Classic. She, she nods, uh, and you see her go back, and she uh, fills up two ales, puts it down. You throw her a few copper. You see the little halfling guy sitting next to you uh, sees that you get two ales, uh, and he turns to you and he says, "Oh, hey, man. Uh, what 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 brings you to town? You seem you you seem uh, right strong." <laughs> Is this Beverly? No. <laughs> it's not Beverly. You don't know who oh, Beverly is. Of course, of course. <laughs> uh, look, hey, uh, I'm, I'm looking for I'm looking for work around these parts. You oh. know, uh, you know where I could uh, get a fishing boat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm um, so I'm actually a scoutmaster. I'm actually not. I'm not a fisherman here. You see, he's like really fucking nervous. <laughs> <laughs> he's really super nervous, uh, and he goes. Are you like, um, by any chance, any kind of like hero? Or <laughs> yes, you have heard of me, haven't you? <laughs> Finally, I'm hard one, surefoot, pride of the dwarfenage, the bastard of the mountain. <laughs> oh, and which, uh, which mountain would that be, sir? Uh, forget it. <laughs> okay. Well, um, uh, see, so I'm. I'm like a, uh, I'm like the head of, uh, well, not the head of, I I guess I'm not like the chapter leader or anything. I'm just a scoutmaster, okay? So I'm a scoutmaster. I'm part of this group called the Green Teens, right? So I'm responsible for like some of the younger guys and stuff. Some like, you know, like 14 or 15 year old halflings or something. I teach them how to like, we we, we, like build fires and and I I give them patches and things like that. So anyway, um, we came to town. And we were supposed to, there were supposed to be some, like, druids here that were supposed to show us the bay. And they were supposed to show us, like, the, um, uh, the, the, the like, staff that, that's at the bottom that's, like, magic that uh, makes the fish gum. Uh-huh. But then the druids said that they were busy. So I said, okay, well, well I'll, I'll just take the kids out uh, by myself. Mm-hmm. So, so I took the kids out. And then some, um, some, some, some frog men uh, came out. And they, uh, they, they took the kids. The, 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 the green teens are gone. I did, yeah. I did notice that you didn't have kids as you're telling me (laughs) the story about how you're in charge of the kids. Yeah. (laughs) There aren't any here. There's, 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 there are no kids. There's no kids. Right. (laughs) So, um, I actually already, uh, paid, uh, 
so, so, so my parents have a decent amount of money, so uh, <laughs> they, 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 they give they give me some uh, money to come with, money. and I I gave I I gave those gentlemen over there uh, twenty gold, uh, and uh, he you see he points to the barbarians, <laughs> these like big They're... fucking hulking uh, rowdy dudes who are bald and have just like ponytails popping out. Oh, that's a good. And look. you see, there's four dudes there. One of them sort of bigger than the other ones. You see him like let out this hearty laugh, and oh, he's I'm... missing a bunch of teeth. Okay. He's like this fucked up dude. So you see this scoutmaster guy, he says, I, I offered them uh, tw- uh, 20 gold, and th- th- they said they were going to go to the, 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 the swamp and uh, uh, get the teens back from the... Uh, from from the from the frogman, but uh, they they're they're just sitting there, and anytime I ask them to, if they're gonna go, they 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 just ye- yell at me and and, and and say that they're that they're getting ready and that they need to get hydrated. I see. So I need I need I need someone serious for this job. Yeah. So they're using your gold to buy their beer. Correct. Right now. Correct. That is very much correct. My name's Denny, by the way. Den- uh, hey. And he holds out to shake. Hard one, surefoot. God, your hands are clammy. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just a little bit nervous. Okay, so as you're uh, shaking this dude's hand and uh, <laughs> drinking your two beers like a fucking weirdo. <laughs> I should have uh, got one at a time. This one's already warm. Uh, suddenly, you, you hear hooves outside as, as like a little carriage uh, pulls up. And you hear uh, a teen voice saying goodbye to the person <laughs> in the carriage. And Beverly Togold, uh, the small halfling boy, uh, also wearing a green teen uniform with braces, enters the tavern. <laughs> uh, you, you, you can see uh, your scoutmaster guy mm-hmm. up at the bar, and you see these barbarians, and you see these fishermen, and, and you see right. the bard. I, I've met this scoutmaster before. Yes, okay, you've met cool. scoutmaster Denny. All right. Um, I probably just run right over to him. Okay. Uh, I bag. just beeline. I uh, I kind of like put blinders on and don't look at anything else. Uh, I it, I don't make eye contact with anyone, and I just beeline right for my scoutmaster. So Beverly makes a beeline for scoutmaster Denny and Hard One. Uh, Hard One, you've you've already marched in, made yourself known, and you're already just surrounded by fucking dorks. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, uh, scoutmaster Denny sees you right away, and he looks super nervous Denny! and ashamed. Uh, uh, oh, hey, little guy. Uh, uh, it's Be- me. It's Beverly. Beverly, uh, so good to see you again. Remember, hey. you taught me ropes. Yes. Uh, so, um, okay. Uh, uh, green teens is canceled. What? Wait, no. What do you mean? It's just, it's just, it's, it's canceled. He lost all the kids. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, this is. Uh, we, he also taught me my humor badge, so this is this is like clearly one of his classics. Just this a classic a, green teen goof. Yeah, this is a green teen goof. We do these little goofs around campfires, and this is one of them. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Uh, I don't think so. He wouldn't have. He told me. I don't know, but like, look at his face. His his face is so he's he's twisted his face into a mask. You of see, humor. he's just furiously shaking his head at <laughs> hard one. Like, please don't sell me out. <laughs> Uh, I feel like um, Beverly sits on the other side, uh, so away from uh, away from Hard One, but uh, adjacent to to Denny. Okay, uh, and then he, still not believing that this is actually true, uh, tries to get the attention of the half work bartender. <laughs> okay, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, what? Yeah, what? Hi, do you have do you have Sprite? No, we don't have Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, just anything fizzy would be great. Non-alcoholic, please. You, she she just like pours you a <laughs> a beer. A, a she just she just pours you like a a cup of water, okay. and then just like sticks her finger in and moves it around and blows some bubbles in it, and then just hands it to you. Mm. <laughs> Savory. <laughs> Thank you. Savory. I tip her very well. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, you throw you throw her uh, some copper and a couple extra silver. Okay. Um, suddenly, a possum bursts into the tavern and jumps up on the table with all the fishermen and starts just like <laughs> grabbing at their scraps and everything. Papa, papa, papa! <laughs> and yeah. A beautiful woman, a beautiful elven woman, covered in fungus, wearing. Are, are you wearing overalls? Overalls, yeah. Overalls. And there's a uh, there's uh, mushrooms pouring out of the bib of my overall. <laughs> she papa. rushes in after the possum, grabbing him. Papa, I'm so sorry. He must have smelled your food. Papa, get! Get! You're gonna get kicked! <laughs> uh, you see, Papa uh, climbs back up onto this crick elf's shoulder. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry. If I can just who who did what what table did uh, the, go on? The fishermen, the three fishermen sitting there. I'm so sorry, y'all. If uh, just you know what, give me whatever you caught today. I'll go back in the kitchen. I'll whip you up some delicious, uh, you know, some delicious fish. I'm a great cook. You see, one All of the guys just looks at you and he says. I'm sorry, do you work here? You're just going to go in the kitchen and cook something? <laughs> you know, I found that it's just easy to make friends. If you're just a sweetheart, you can just walk back anywhere. You hear the half-orc woman back from behind the bar uh, just yells, If you're going to bring a rodent in here, you can at least uh, buy a drink. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I'll definitely have a drink. I go over and I'm like, yeah, give me, you know, how about like a hooch or like a bathtub meat or if you got some <laughs> berries that gone bad, I can just suck on those. <laughs> you I see turn. she just pours you an ale and just hands it to you. I, I turn Ooh, to okay. Diddy and say, is that our guide? <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm I'm your guy. <laughs> no, for the for oh tour for the, the druids, the right? Yeah. No, that's canceled. That that is fully canceled. Okay, this joke is going on a long time. Can you can you like wrap it up? What's the punchline of the joke, Danny Scoutmaster Danny? Okay, you know what? This is this is a learning experience. Uh-huh. Is what this is, uh, because uh, as halflings of the light, yes. as campers of the light. We need to be honest. We should always be honest. And so I will tell you, young Beverly, yes. that oh, yeah. I lost the green teens. They were captured by frogmen and dragged into the swamp. Oh, I told you. Oh, my God. Uh, sorry, excuse me, Mitch, Miss uh, Half-Orc. What's your name? <laughs> my name is Mishka. Mishka. That's a beautiful name. God bless your mother. Um, I Do you have a saucer of crick water from a possum? <laughs> I have some water in my canteen. Oh, hi. Hi. That'd be great because Paw Paw, he is parched. Okay. Um, so he's I can tell. Hard, hard one. You are just surrounded yeah, by fucking Paw rejects Paw. right now. <laughs> this is not what I expected uh, from my epic journey. I do um, I do give her some water from my canteen. I hand her my canteen. <gasps> Thank you so much. Okay. And then as soon Paw as I Paw Paw starts it, furiously start... lapping it up, like getting a mess I'm everywhere. Like, hard oh, one. You I'm are just like covered it. in water. I hold the canteen under my um, under my armpit so it looks like he's suckling from my breast. <laughs> huh. You, you know what? You can just keep that canteen, actually. Thank you. So wait, anyway, what, you're serious? You're, you're speaking in the light of truth about this matter? Did he? I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead seriously speaking in the light of truth. The, oh, my God. Uh, the green teens are gone. They're, all, they're gone? What, what are we going to do? Well, that's not all. He was also uh, robbed. Yes, <laughs> tell the whole truth. Right? Okay. Were, I mean, um, okay. So these uh, fine gentlemen uh, behind us, uh, and then you hear the bigger dude uh, yells out, "Hey, get us another round!" <laughs> and Denny turns around and says, "Well, surely the twenty gold I paid you before will be plenty for another." I said, "We want another round." Yes, sir. Uh, you see, he orders another round from Mishka and, uh, like a waiter, like picks them all up and carries them over and puts them down. Uh, and then he comes back uh, and he turns to God, you, Beverly man, that's and your says, leader? Yes, I was robbed. Scoutmaster, those men are taking advantage of you. We can't let that happen. That's unjust. Um, okay. Here's the thing, though, is that there's a lot of them in town and uh, they also uh, chased out the mayor. And they're living in the mayor's house, so <laughs> things are really freaking bad here, man. Okay. Nobody told me this when I got here. I just wanted to show some green teens the freaking <laughs> trident at the bottom of the bay. Does this mean that the jamboree is canceled, too? The jamboree is super canceled, <laughs> Beverly. I can't express properly how much of the jamboree is canceled. Jeez. Oh, Jamboreen? Yeah. I love a good jamboreen. Who doesn't? Okay, That's wait. when everyone takes their shoes off and, and rolls around no in the mud. No one's focused on the missing children. <laughs> right, yes. Okay, the, so there are missing children. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I you don't know, know what? what's um, going on. Uh, okay, uh, so, Beverly, um, you want to be a six-leaf green teen, right? More than anything. Okay, um, if you go get the green teens back, this is your test. This is your test. If you do it, you're, you're, you're a junior green knight. <sighs> I knew this moment would come. You know, that this is why they keep the, the six-leaf trials under such tight scrutiny. Yep. So that you can't guess what you're going to have to do for it's your final all, test. All, all part of the plan. Oh, my gosh. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so all I have to do is get the gold back from those ruffians over there. Nope. 
don't talk to them. <laughs> don't get the gold back from them. That's you... just a loss. Let's just chalk that one up okay. to a loss. All right. Okay. <laughs> that gold is gone. <laughs> that gold is gone, well, that's man. Your, that's your gold by right. Cool. They stole yeah, it that's from gold. You. There's like kids. The, the kids are deaf. They're they're gonna. I don't know if you know anything about bullywugs, the frog man, but they're gonna they're gonna ritualistically <laughs> sacrifice them. Well, uh, you, oh, I'm so sorry. Paw paw drank too quickly and he spit up on the floor. Oh. Do you have a rag behind oh, the bar oh, that I could just spit clean up, up all this. over my foot? <laughs> Scoutmaster, you yourself taught me. Careful where you stomp. Bullywugs hide in the swamp. So that's probably where we should start. Yep. Yeah, you guys should. Oh, bullywugs. Okay. Um, we got them down by the creek. You know about bullywugs? Of course. I do, too. I have a Bullywog identification patch that I, I got. <laughs> oh, okay. Beverly once, Beverly once picked a Bullywog out of a lineup and got a patch. <laughs> well, I yeah. dissected it. I okay. dissected it. Oh, okay. I used to wrestle with them, so oh, down okay. at the creek, you know, it's a fun little thing. You just kind of wrestle a Bullywog. They're very aggressive. You must be strong. Yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty strong. Wow. Oh, well, if, if you're strong, um, maybe... Uh, uh, Beverly, can you turn around for a split second? Sure, absolutely. Okay, great. So Beverly just turns around, and just <laughs> staring there, um, <laughs> smiling. Yeah, I sing a okay, I can't uh, song. Okay, Beverly, earmuffs, uh, and sing to yourself. Sing along with the fiddle. <laughs> a green teen never holds a grudge. A green teen will. Never budge from okay, this point. So, um, justice. so you guys got to make sure that this kid doesn't die, um, but he's actually pretty strong, okay? He's going to be a good green knight, so uh, he'll be pretty helpful to you guys. Uh, but you guys, I can offer you guys some gold. If you guys keep an eye on this guy and go get the other green jeans back, I'll give you guys 20 gold each. What if instead of gold, you just gave me some sort of... I don't know. I, I'm personally, I've got a sort of like a mushroom library, spore library, uh, collecting many strains as I can. Uh, if you could just pay me a mushroom. I just have, like, yeah, I have like gift bags for the Boy Scouts. I could just Ooh. give you some like mushrooms. I'll take the gold. Okay, yeah, I'll just give you 40 gold then. Okay, Dope. so I'm just going to write down green teen gift bag. Yeah. Okay. There you go. I was supposed to give this to the kids at the end of the night, but... It looks like I won't be needing them. <laughs> Are kids like youngins? Um, if you see a dragon, you take a wide berth. We do all we can for Mother Earth. Hi. <laughs> okay. Um, Is everything good now? Beverly, everything's great. Okay, uh, cool. These fine green teen... Uh, the green teen team. Are these, these? Are, these are your real counselors. Oh, so these are like honorary scoutmasters? They're honorary scoutmasters, I... Deemed them myself. Oh, here wow. you go. Uh, and you see, he rips off uh, <laughs> two patches. <laughs> so this dude is just so scared and in over his head. He just rips off two patches and just like shoves them on uh, <laughs> your guys' chests. Ooh, wow. Okay. I I hawk up a loogie and use it to uh, <laughs> stick the patch to my overall. Oh, and it Man, weirdly your sticks. Is, uh, shitting it, under the bar. It weirdly <laughs> sticks. Paw paw. What did I tell you about going bucket in public? <laughs> 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 Don't worry. The possum's going nuts. You see uh, Mishka, the half orc, just like fucking sweeps him away and he gets knocked on the ground and he just starts like scrambling on the ground. <laughs> Pop, I'm going to put you on your leash. And Mishka, Pop, Mishka, wild just, animal. Mishka, just turns, Mishka just turns to you and says, please leave. <laughs> okay. That, please that's leave a with fair your request. We got some bully walks to go wrestle anyways. Um, before we leave, I, uh, I take... Um, a notepad out of my out of my satchel or out of my pack and I write uh, you are very rude and I go and I place it on the table of the barbarians <laughs> as you go to place it on the table of the barbarians uh -huh. they're in the middle of this like rowdy laugh the guy picks up the note and then he grabs you and he said and he laughs again he goes I like you. You're funny. <laughs> I do have my humor patch, yes. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Yeah? You go get us another round of ale and I won't kill you. Okay, well, I don't have... I'm not of age, so I don't think I could technically do that. Would you like uh, some Sprite? I take out a flask and I say, Y'all ever had bathtub mead? Would that be good? My scoutmaster has some bathtub mead if you want that. 
Listen, kid, I'm gonna fucking kill you if you don't go get me an ale right now. Okay, could an adult please get this to me? <laughs> okay, but uh, here Beverly me turned, out. Beverly turns to hard. Christ. <laughs> hear me out, Mr. Barbarian. Have, if you never had bathtub meat, what we do is we take a bit of a uh, raccoon urine. We ferment it under the moonlight for about three months. And it will get you fucked up. Please don't curse. You see, uh, g- go ahead and give me a uh, diplomacy check. <laughs> oh, man, first roll. Nine plus, what do I add? Diplomacy? Charisma? Yeah. 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 I got 11. Okay. <laughs> Mixed success. You see, he says, it'll get you fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you'll be seeing there, your ancestors. There's no need to curse. All right. Tell you what. You give me... That fucked up water. <laughs> <laughs> you go get me some ale, and then I won't kill this little one. <laughs> okay. Hmm, I don't feel like this is very hospitable. Is this your town? We're coming into your town, and you're showing us a real, a real mean cheek. I feel like while she's doing that, I do go over to Hard One uh, and and give him some coin to buy the ale. I'm not buying these guys. <laughs> 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 fucking beer, man. <laughs> Beverly, right. and, Beverly and Hard One are just having a quiet moment. And you see Scoutmaster Denny uh, turns around from the bar and he's just like, Huh? Uh, what are you guys doing? Uh, Do you think we should get the wine instead? Uh, nope. And okay. I'm, teaching, I'm teaching the barbarians that you don't actually drink the bathtub <laughs> mead, you huff it like a paint. <laughs> So I'm showing them how to huff it. You see, like, a couple of them are actually pretty interested and are, like, <laughs> huffing it. Uh, but you see Scoutmaster Danny runs over with some more ales. He's just like, uh, no need to, to go after the little guy, gentlemen. I've uh, Everybody's drinking on me tonight. <laughs> and uh, this, uh, this big barbarian dude goes, no, I want him to do it. <laughs> and he points to hard one. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody, it's Emily here to talk to you about Aura Frames. Mother's Day is coming up and some of us are looking for a way to shower the maternal figures in our life with love. Well, look no further. Aura Frames are the digital picture frames that bring all your photos and videos together in one gorgeous high resolution display. They're super easy to set up. They save you from the struggle of printing and framing your favorite photos, but most importantly, they help you stay connected with family that live far away. That's because you can kind of preload a bunch of pictures onto the frame, but you also get to keep adding pictures and you can invite the rest of your family to add pictures. The gifts you make mean the most. So this year, turn your family's past into the perfect Mother's Day present with a connected frame from Aura. Right now, Aura has a great deal for Mother's Day. Listeners can visit AuraFrames.com slash Papa to get up to $30 off on their best-selling frames. That's A-U-R-A frames.com slash P-A-W P-A-W. Plus, listeners can get free shipping with code P-A-W P-A-W at checkout. This deal ends on Mother's Day, May 14th, so don't wait. Terms and conditions apply. Goodbye, sweeties. Hey there, Nadpoles. This episode is brought to you by Rocket Money. Do you know how much your subscriptions really cost, folks? Well, most Americans think they spend around $80 a month on subscriptions, but the actual total is closer to around $200. Holy hell. If you don't know exactly how much you're spending every month, then you need Rocket Money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Over 80% of people have subscriptions that they forgot about, and chances are you're one of them. Like that Stars app just to watch that one show or that free gaming trial you never actually used. Well, Rocket Money will quickly and easily find your subscriptions for you. And for any you don't want to pay for anymore, just hit cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. It's that easy. Rocket Money also helps you manage all your finances in one place and automatically categorizes your expenses so you can easily track your budget in real time and also get alerted if anything looks a little funky. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 a year. Wow. So stop throwing your money away, cancel unwanted subscriptions, and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket Money. Rocketmoney.com slash 
pawpaw. That is rocketmoney.com slash pawpaw. One more time for you, rocketmoney.com slash pawpaw. Thank you. Hard one. (laughs) (laughs) Holding two beers. (laughs) Comes over. Uh Uh-huh. And pours them both at this guy's feet. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) You just, like, pour it on this dude's feet. You see the other three guys that are with this main dude, like, (laughs) oh, fuck. Look, fuck, like, oh, shit, something's about to go down. I pull a small towel out of my backpack and hand it to him. (laughs) For your boots. This dude fucking backhands Beverly. Everybody roll initiative. (laughs) The possum starts freaking out. (laughs) Sir, I have no choice but to defend myself now. I got, uh, hell yeah, bitch, I got a, uh, 22. Uh, what do we add to our, oh wait, no, uh. Your what... dex. Your dex. Okay, so zero yeah. for me. 11. Jake got a 16. Yeah. Oh man, these guys rolled really well. Oh boy. <laughs> 16, wait, 16 and I add dex? Yeah. 20. Oh. Oh wow, hard one. Okay, hard I got one. 22. Oh, wow, you guys rolled well. Well, they did. Yes. Everybody did. Two out of three. Okay. Um, moonshine. Got it. Oh, okay. boy. <laughs> moonshine, you're first. So you okay. see this dude This dude backhands Beverly. Okay, so I'm... Um, Does that... Which do of I... them... By the way, are they affected at all because they've been huffing my... <laughs> That's a good question. They've been huffing yeah, my... Yeah, two of them are a little stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. Not the main guy, but two of them are a little... There's, like, one pretty serious guy who, like, clearly looks up to the leader guy, and there's two guys that were just kind of looking to get fucked up at the bar. (laughs) Okay, so I'm going to go for the main guy. Okay, cool. Great. Uh, I'm going to take out my scimitar. Great. Um, Oh, actually, no. No, no, no. I'm going to do symbiotic entity. Great. What? Which means that I channel the power of spores and mushrooms and become... Uh, one with my spores. For anyone who plays D&D at home, listening to this insane thing that Emily is saying, uh, this is a circle of spores druid. It's an unearth arcana thing that was just introduced. So you're yes. turning into a, a mushroom woman right now. I'm basically turning into like almost like kind of like poison ivy. You're starting oh, with your limit yeah. break. <laughs> yeah. I love um, it. And does does that take, that, that takes like a wild shape action? Does wild shape take an entire... Yes, turn. that takes okay. action. Okay, so I just kind of stand in the corner and like <laughs> and like uh, rub mushrooms on myself. <laughs> Hard one is very confused. I have to imagine the the barbarians that were huffing that uh, sauce are also very confused. <laughs> the barbarians that were huffing the sauce looks at this woman that just starts sprouting mushrooms, and they are uh, tripping balls. <laughs> what was in that? That 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 <laughs> must be the raccoon purse. Uh, so then that's that's you, Hard one. Although, wait, um, do you get to, on your turn, do your um, shooting spores thing? Oh, yeah, I can, because that's a reaction, so yep. that wouldn't oh. take a whole action. Yeah, so you, you get to launch your spores if you want. Okay, so then, but because I'm in symbiotic entity mode, that would mean that they deal double damage. Great, so go ahead and um, roll your damage. Um, I think ha- Halo is just... Uh, it's just three Use your poison. reaction on your turn to deal three poison damage to yeah. one creature so you can I'm see within doing ten feet of you. Six damage. So six poison damage at the main dude. Six poison damage. So at I, the main I dude. rub I rub mushrooms on myself, and then from my uh, from my hand, like a mushroom is born, and I blow <laughs> it at him like I'm blowing a kiss. <laughs> like this crazy fucking mushroom woman blows spores in this dude's eyes. He just goes, ah! ah! <laughs> He's so fucking pissed off. Uh, hard one, you're up. I'm punching the serious dude right in the nose. <laughs> with, wait, yeah. you're not going axe? You're going fist? Oh, shit. I can, it's, it's coming to death blows now already? These guys are definitely going to try to kill you. Right. Right. They're like going for their swords. Fucking great axe <laughs> yeah. from behind. Go ahead. Roll, roll your hard d20 one wields to see if you it one-handed. Give it. 12 plus 4, 16. That, that hits yeah. all your damage. Uh, it's a d12 oh, yeah, plus whatever your uh, modifier is. Armor, mm-hmm. right? Oh, yeah, you got to roll damage now. Yeah, oh, roll. wait, how do I do that? Baby? You roll d12. Yeah, that one. Oh, that that d-twilly. Ten. Ooh, baby! <laughs> ten, wait, plus, ten plus four. 
So 14. 14. So the fucking, this dude gets like blinded by spores. Uh, <laughs> and then Hard One just like slashes him across the chest with his axe. Uh, and he just lets out this roar. He's so fucking angry. Uh, what was it? 14 damage? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This dude is still standing. He's a pretty tough dude. All right. Um, so it's, now it's it four is... total barbarians. Uh, four total barbarians. Okay, yes. One, one like real tough looking dude, and then one guy, three guys that are like a little bit scrawnier, and yeah. two, two of them are super stoned. <laughs> uh, so I'll, I'll give them disadvantage when they attack. Nice. Okay. Uh, so this main guy uh, is going to go ahead and That's rear up with his great axe. He's going to take a reckless attack, so he makes it with advantage against hard one. So he swings his axe <gasps> right back at hard Whoa. one. Uh, and he is definitely gonna hit. Oh no. So he <laughs> hits hard one. He slashes oh, no. <laughs> hard one across his mighty shoulder for 12 damage. <gasps> so go ahead and Whoa. mark down um, mark down that damage. Wait, uh, does he not have to roll AC? He did. Oh, okay, I missed yeah, it. Yeah, he beat it. My bad. <laughs> okay. Edit um, that. So Wait, now- so 12, is that, That's like minus from my- That's minus from your maximum hit points. So Got what it. are your maximum hit points? Like 22? 22. Okay, so you're at 10. 10. Um, okay, so now these warrior guys are going to go. The first, the sober guy is going to uh, take a swing at Moonshine. <laughs> Bring on, bitch. I'm a symbiotic entity. I got plus three to uh, my hit And he, he misses big time. He whiffs with his, uh, he has a spear on him. Oh, my he, God. I use he my. He swings his spear and misses. I, uh, the mushrooms come to my aid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a mush, it, it just gets caught by a mushroom. Like, it's a fucking hand. It's like one of those movie. big flat ones you see on trees. <laughs> yeah. uh, so these other two tribal guys who are a little stoned are also going to swing at this fucking mushroom monster that they see. Uh, this guy whiffs big time. And the other other guy, uh, he would have hit. Oh, he's going to hit. All okay, right. So even though he's stoned, he's just <laughs> screaming and swinging at anything. Uh, and he's going to go ahead and hit Moonshine for eight damage. Ooh. Terrible hospitality. <laughs> not how I would <laughs> treat people coming to my town. <laughs> uh, now it is Beverly's turn. All right. Um, so I think Beverly probably flew all the way back and landed behind the bar. Uh, and he's kind of like <laughs> gathering himself amidst uh, bottles and uh, barrels. And he picks up a, bar a bottle and says, hey, you did have Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, though. Uh, I think now Beverly uh, turns to Denny uh, and says, Scoutmaster, sir, permission to uh, defend myself. Yep, kill them. Please kill them. <laughs> <laughs> hurry. Thank you, sir. So um, I'm going to... Um, Unsheath my sword. Great. Uh, and I want to. Um, I guess I'll just attack the main guy as well. I okay. don't want to do anything. Are you going to do any yet. kind of like smite damage or anything like that? Uh, you know what? Let's start this thing off with a bang. Yeah, I will cast. Um, smite his ass, dude. Do, do you want to? You have like a special ability that just does like two d eight damage, right? Yes. Um, yeah, I'm going to use that. Okay. Uh, you can also do. You can also see if you hit and then try to do divine smite. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So go ahead. Take a All swing. Right. So um, just roll d20. Roll d20. Here we go. That's a 19. What do I add to that? Oh, dude, you, you fucking hit. Okay, nice. Yeah. All right, cool. So uh, go no. ahead and roll 2d8 uh, plus your normal damage. D8. Uh, wait. <laughs> so Be Beverly, after like this polite little boy, gets like... <laughs> pushed over and like falls behind the bar, asks for permission, <laughs> and then like yells out to his god, Pelor, the god of light, and this burst of radiant energy comes out as he slashes this dude so hard. Is this the D8? Uh, it should yes. have eight sides yep. on it. All right. That's okay. you know. Roll that, roll that twice and then roll your uh, damage. All right, so that's a two. Cool. And a seven, so that's nine. Uh, and and then, then another D8? Another D8. Yeah, because okay. that's just your normal longsword damage. So that's a three. Not So 12. Mm -hmm. So 17 damage. Uh, then plus five, right? Uh, I added that. Okay, cool. Damn, 17 bitch. damage, yeah. So this Damn. guy, this guy's starting little to look guy. a little Moonshine. fucked up. He Moonshine turns around and she's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> this burst of radiant energy uh, uh, comes out of Beverly's long sword mm -hmm. as he slashes the guy again across the chest and he grabs his chest and you see like a little bit of uh, blood dribbles That's out of his mouth. That's what you get for being rude. 
Uh, <laughs> Scout Master. Blood falls on the you guys were rude piece of paper. <laughs> Scout Master uh, Denny uh, meekly walks over to Hard One and uh, he's going to lay on hands him because he's a paladin and you, you're back up to full health. He heals you. Nice. Oh, that, sweet. Brother. Good. Really needed it. Good, Scout, good. Uh, Scout Master Denny lay hands you for uh, 12. Uh, then let's bring it back up to Moonshine. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to make a melee attack with my scimitar, which is covered in fungus, um, at that main bad guy. Cool. Actually, fuck it. I'm going to go after it. No, we should get rid of that main bad guy. Main yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. After the main bad guy. They might break guy. after that, you know? Yeah, I'm definitely not going to hit. That's going to be a seven. That does not hit. Okay. Well, I'm still going to... You can still shoot your spores. Halo spores. Blow it like a kiss. <laughs> you blow it like a kiss. <laughs> But like a kiss, and I, I wink at him after I do it. Oh, you're a nightmare. Six, so six more uh, poison damage. Six more poison damage. And then I'm going to use dude. a bonus action to heal myself with uh, with healing word. Great. So what is that? A, a D4? Nice. D4? D4 plus my plus five. How do, so how do, six. I got six back. How do bonus actions work? Bonus action you can take after your action. Okay. So you probably don't have many things that you can do. Um, oh, okay. It, it'll action. it'll say bonus it'll say. action. It, yeah. yeah, it'll say. Nice. All right, cool. Okay, that takes us to hard one. Dude. All right, let's do it. Just slashing at All this right. guy. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's what you <laughs> do. Axe come back around, cold right out of his chest again. <laughs> Ooh. 16. Dope. 16. That, yeah, that definitely hits. Plus, yeah, 20. Yeah, whatever your modifier, it, it, it hits. It hits Dope. already. Roll that d12, baby. Roll that beautiful dice. Ooh. Seven plus... Plus four, four or five? 11 damage. Damn. Okay, this dude's looking seriously fucked up. He's not done yet? <laughs> no, he's oh. he, he's a fucking it's tough a Bev, period, you dude. gotta take him out. All right. Okay, here we go. Bev, Okay, it's up so to that you. takes us that takes us to this dude. Only you can save us, Beverly. Bev. <laughs> this That's a lot of pressure. You are our only hope. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> this dude this dude took a reckless attack. So this guy should be at disadvantage. Ah. So um go ahead and roll again, Moonshine, oh, to see if you hit, because you hit. missed on your first attack. 15. 15. That's definitely plus gonna hit. Four, so roll, roll your damage. Woo! <laughs> and that's gonna be damage plus uh, poison damage. So okay. that's gonna be five plus two, seven plus five, so twelve. Wait. Damn. Oh no no. Yes, twelve. Okay, this dude is seriously, seriously, seriously <laughs> fucked up <laughs> on his dress. last so, legs. Of so she had taken him for twelve plus six. Right. Okay. Damn, he's strong. This he's dude still is standing? seriously fucked up. Uh, with his last inch of life, he tries to take off Hard One's head. Oh. <laughs> uh, and he the is. Guy that started it he all. is gonna hit. Oh no. Yes. Oh, the, shit. The, the, the man whose pride, <laughs> whose pride got us into this fight. <laughs> the pride of the mountain. The pride of the mountain. The mountain uh, nine damage. Toppled. Nine damage to the pride of the mountain. All right. You can handle that. I've survived worse. <laughs> just, a, just, a, just one moment ago. The, the other guys are going to keep uh, swinging at Moonshine here. All right. Uh, the one Bring guy on, bitch. is probably going to hit. That is a 17 to hit. Mm, yeah, that definitely hits definitely your AC. Hit. Okay. <laughs> um, that's going to be da, 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 five damage. Five Moonshine. damage on the first one. Moonshine takes it, but she doesn't even blink when it wow. happens. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> just looks at him like a. She doesn't even blink. Yeah. Wow. She okay. just she t- she looks at her hand full of mushrooms and she's like, "You next." The, the other was like about to cry from his wound, and then he looks. <laughs> do at the you mushrooms? Like, oh, yeah, fine. Do the mushrooms have like little humanistic characteristics? Do they have little faces on them? I mean, I see faces when okay. I look at them, <laughs> but I also eat them. Hi, so. Moonshine. <laughs> Right, where are your baby? So these other the the two stone guys are gonna take swings at Moonshine. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, he rolled a one and a nineteen. He's at disadvantage. He'll take the one, so he misses. The other guy rolls, and he's gonna hit, even though he's at disadvantage. And he hits you for seven damage. Beverly is unscathed. How are you, how are you doing, Moonshine? By the way, Moonshine's at eleven. Okay. Because she got extra hit points for the uh, being right. A okay. Uh-huh. Entity. So wait, you're didn't she get hit and by the first guy? Healed herself. Okay. I'm at 13. You have like 25 okay. health? No, sorry. What did you hit me for? I thought you hit me for five this time. Around. And I, no, I just, I hit you for five the first time and I hit you for seven the second time. Oh, so 12 I didn't hear total. the So you're at three. Seven. Oh, okay. You're at three? Seven. So Moonshine. No, I'm at four. Thank you. You're okay. at four. Okay. Moonshine looks right fucked up. Okay. Okay. Oh, dear. Uh, back up to. Beverly. Is it me? It's actually, yes, Beverly. I'm All right. Have cool. I'm going to kill myself. Um, 
I was planning on uh, attacking um, the main guy, but now that I see that uh, Moonshine... No, I look at you and I'm like, don't worry about me. Yeah, I feel like I go to like lay hands on her, uh, and then you say, what do you say? I say, um, I say, don't worry. Uh, this 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 hen's taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> I lay hands on myself. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I, full disclosure, full honesty, in the light of truth, I did not want to touch you. <laughs> All right, so then uh, I turn away from Moonshine and I turn to face uh, the the main barbarian. And I say, sir, I've given you every chance to back down. But unfortunately, as a green teen, I cannot let your reign of terror on this village to proceed. <laughs> Hit him with the sword. I will, now, I will now recite the green teen's creed. Kill him for the love of God. I hold my sword aloft. It glows ever so slightly. And I say, a teen of green is never mean. Our soul sublime, our hearts pristine. And at all times, we stay serene to glean the sheen of a light unseen. All right, kid. I was being nice. You got to do something. <laughs> You gotta do something. You don't right. need to lay hands on me, but. Uh, and after that, I just kind of like recklessly launch myself at him with my sword. <laughs> All right. Ah! Uh, go ahead. Uh, roll with advantage because he he took a reckless attack. All right. Cool. That's an eighteen. That's gonna hit already. All right. Well, cool. Roll to see. If you can roll to see if 20. you crit. If you want to roll again. Okay. Oh, good see call. See if you get a twenty. It's another eighteen. Okay. Dope. <laughs> All right. All right. Cool. Guys got some good rolls so far. Yeah. All right. Uh, D8. Don't jinx us. That's a three uh, plus five, I guess. Eight. Okay. Yeah. Right, Susie, cool. uh, after reciting the <laughs> the Green Teen Creed, uh -huh. Beverly launches forward and decapitates this <laughs> dude. Oh. Blood sprays <laughs> fucking everywhere as his head flies over the bar. Gotta be you honest. You see the other dudes look like mad scared. That, uh, oh my that God. little spring chicken's got some talent. <laughs> Back up to, oh, that's actually Scoutmaster Denny, who is going to, uh, <laughs> he'll cast Cure Wounds on, uh, oh, on Moonshine. Oh, thank there. you. Oh, oh well, he rolled pretty well. Um, 10. 10 HP back. Uh, that takes us to Moonshine. Uh, Moonshine looks at him and is like, thank you. <laughs> Uh, don't come too close, so I'm very fertile. Miss? I'm very fertile. <laughs> <Too> fertile. <laughs> Be careful when you lay hands on me. What does that mean? <laughs> and then uh, she We're looks... not allowed to have sex. It's okay. <laughs> and then she looks at well, one of the guys who hit her. Yep. Um, or the guy that she said, you next. Okay. <laughs> and then she takes out her scimitar, aims it at him for <clears throat> 22. And it's... <laughs> All right, so that's gonna be. So roll your scimitar damage, and then it does poison damage too, it's right? It's gonna be only three for the scimitar damage, only one, four for the with the poison damage. Total of four, but then she's gonna blow her uh, kiss of uh, kiss of poison. Okay, shroom kiss. Her uh, shroom kiss. She's gonna for blow six damage. It. Yeah, so this ten total. Is, this dude is on fucking death's door. <laughs> These guys are much weaker. Than yeah, the bitch. Uh, hard one. You're up. Hell yeah. I'm swinging the axe at this dude's dome. At the dude who's who's weak. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hard ones. I want to decapitate herd. somebody too. <laughs> Hard one feels like inferior. Axe to dome. That's a six though. Uh, plus what? Uh, 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 ten, four. Ten. No, ten. it's a. Uh, oh, ten total. I, I don't thought know. it's not plus four. You have a higher thing than that. What do you add to your uh, attack? You roll? add your attack bonus. Okay. Oh, attack bonus. Your attack Where is that? bonus. Is plus six. Oh, so you got a twelve. Oh, so you got oh, twelve. Yeah. So that does hit. <laughs> Damn right. You roll your damage. <laughs> yeah. Eight. That's plus four. Ah. Yeah. Twelve. Yeah. Twelve. Okay. Twelve damage. So hard one then decapitates this <laughs> yeah. dude. The yeah. head doesn't go quite as far as Beverly's head. Uh -huh. uh, hard one looks goes ashamed. Pretty far. <laughs> Uh, Moonshine turns to the party and she's like, uh, will you save the last one for me? Because now I feel like I got to decapitate someone. <laughs> I feel like that's Hardaway probably... just takes a step back. <laughs> I only need to decapitate one head to get my self-defense merit badge. So <laughs> I'm, I'm good. You're I don't... furiously sewing a decapitated <laughs> head badge onto your... Uh, so you see these other two barbarians kind of look at each other super scared and they're going to disengage mm -hmm. and they're going to start running out of the tavern. Mm -hmm. And then I say, guys? these people were real inhospitable. What do you say? We chase them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. So are you guys like chasing them out the door? 
<laughs> I'll tell you something. I sure. think I, I mean, I, they're definitely going to run back to they're definitely going to run back to a crew of barbarians. So oh, yeah. we would I mean, need we gotta to find the kids. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we have maybe we let them the run. Yeah, they, we just, start to chase them outside the tavern. Are you guys? Are you guys chasing them out the tavern? The tavern? Are, you you don't see if there are more. Here's yet. the here's the only thought is if they run back to their barbarian friends, we could be in bad standing by the time that we come That's back. True. We gotta so kill, we kind of got to silence these yeah, guys. Yeah, we got to kill these guys before they they tell the all the barbarians about us. Okay, so you guys run out and chase them just outside of the tavern. I'm gonna roll to see if there's any other barbarians out there. <laughs> oh. oh. Yes. I rolled a one. There are definitely no barbarians. <laughs> not so, dark not such a good rule for All the barbarians. The yeah. So, Moonshine, you're up. That's going to be 16. That hits. And... Seven. Seven to hit total. Great. And then... Whew, another Four. six. Another six. Wow, you kill this dude. Whee! You fucking slash this, spit some fucking oh, wait, wait, wait. poison spores at him, and I, his even... head just explodes as it rapidly grows oh, mushrooms. Oh, shit. Even though he's dead, so his head explodes? God damn it. I Three wanted to decapitate shots. him. <laughs> no, you can decapitate him if um, you want. You tell me how you if, want to kill him. Well, I want to kill him with the spores, but then I'm going to decapitate his lifeless body just so oh I my can be God. part of the <laughs> This woman is just me fucking too. hacking him up. As I'm doing... <laughs> I think that's technically. I look up and I'm like, "Hey, we got a club going." (laughs) Hard one almost throws up. (laughs) Um, Okay, uh, that takes us to. I take no pride in this. Uh, These are not the friends I wanted to make. Hard, hard one. Go ahead. Wait, Beverly, have you gone? We may have skipped you. Uh, well, I was. Uh, you, the last thing you did was behead somebody. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I beheaded so you, someone since him. You beheaded someone since him. So it should have been okay, your turn. Right. Go ahead. We've all beheaded um, someone. So are they way? Are they still trying to run? There's, there's, yes, there's they're trying guy, to get away. Right, have we? Um, are, are we? Are they waylaid by the fact that we started attacking them? They, they have. Slowed? They're, no, they're just turning and fucking. Run. The one dude's mm-hmm. dead. Okay. Yeah. The other dude's just booking it. We got one more. We got to make sure we silence them. Let me. Let me tell. Let me. Check with you if I could do this. Sure. Uh, while uh, they were attacking the other person, I tried to run ahead and set up a rope trap. No. Okay. You cannot run ahead. Of him. <laughs> this is not fucking Home Alone. <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty. You can try to tri- you can try to trip him or something. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would be able to tackle him, but like, I, oh yeah, you know, you what, I do, you what I'm going to try strength. and do is I'm going to try and use my shield to kind of like shield tackle him. To the ground. Okay, go ahead and run and just give me a strength check. Okay. Um, just give me an opposed strength check. You're going to try to grapple him. Okay, great. Is that going to be... So athletics or strength? Uh, my strength is plus five. Okay, uh, plus athletics. five. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, a saving a throw. That's, those are your oh. saving throws you're proficient in. Uh, your strength is just whatever you're modifying. Oh, it's plus three. Okay. okay. So just give me a plus three, unless you have athletics. Then you can use uh, it's something. a 16 plus three? 19? Oh, my God. 19. Um... <laughs> Fucking Beverly <laughs> tackles this dude like form perfect tackle. Hello. Takes this dude down. This dude is just on the ground. Hard one, you're up. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Go nice. decapitate him. Go decapitate him. No, 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 no. <laughs> nice and sl- slow stride I walk do, over. I, I will say I probably do try to stop him from uh, decapitating yet another okay, human. Okay, okay. So you're Move. trying to- Hard one. No, we've- Three is probably good. Excuse me. I just think I raised the great axe. Maybe <laughs> hard one. Hard one's oh, just oh, slashing. Oh. That's a ten plus fourteen. Yeah, I mean he's he's at disadvantage and everything. You definitely hit him. All right, I guess he is my scoutmaster. I have to respect him now. <laughs> yeah, and that's an eleven. All right. <laughs> so yes, sir. Beverly inadvertently helps execute this man. Beverly's like holding this dude down. Hard one just comes over and in one big chop just beheads this man. I was thinking his we head rolls off. I'd like to, uh, yeah, I, I mostly didn't hear what you were saying. Sir, you know, just, I'm not a, I, I wouldn't, you're my buddy. But, uh, normally, I just, yeah, I killed that I'm guy. in favor of just jail, I guess, yeah. as a, a method of dealing with conflict. Uh, but, so as you guys are talking uh-huh. and as this dude's like head rolls down the road, yeah. you see um, Mishka, the half or pokes her head out of the tavern. She says, bring the bodies inside. More will come soon. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, okay cool. y'all. Yeah, so we drag the bodies you inside. You guys drag the body in. I... You see that the fishermen yeah. are helping fucking clean up and like, hide the bodies. You Whoa. see, Mishka has already gotten rid of- Now that is hospitality. <laughs> there you go. They carry the bodies. No, that's what I was looking for. I carry the heads. <laughs> 
Beverly <laughs> Beverly carries the heads in as you guys and Mishka, the other people in this tavern. Um, Mishka, do you have sort of like a pile of trash anywhere? I want to give them a good Crick Elf burial. We're not going to give them a burial. We're just going to hide them for now, okay? Okay. They help you guys get rid of the bodies. You see there, it's like fishermen fucking scrubbing the blood. And uh, you see everyone kind of uh, stands in the middle of the tavern. Uh, Mishka closes the door and she looks at you guys and she says, well, you might be just the guests we needed in this town. <laughs> and that's where we'll end our session. <laughs> <laughs> oh, session. Dude. It's oh, so it funny. Fun. I didn't know if you guys were going to get into a fight with those barbarians, but you definitely beheaded I, all of them. I <laughs> wanted to get in a fight with them so bad, but I knew that I was like, I was like, no, no, no. I'm too much of a sweetheart to you. So I was so pumped. Uh-huh. Hard hard just, he no, doesn't suffer any slight. I will slut. not fire them a drink. <laughs> Because, I, because once I, I become a symbiotic entity, aka like poisonous woman of spores, right? Then I'm no longer a sweetheart. Oh and yeah, I get to act like a savage. Yeah. It's also those, funny those that this assholes. all like they you offered them water, you offered them <laughs> I your gave bathtub, them, like your your I gave crick, them my uh, crick my, juice is my bathtub mead. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> and, and it like, all started because Beverly gave them a note. <laughs> 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 those heads are on your I'll yeah. Those heads, heads are on a note. <laughs> Which I folded so they would open after I left, but, you know. Yeah, you folded it into a little swan. Exactly. <laughs> it was a nice little origami swan. Um, uh, I, after, while we're back inside, I do start writing a note to my parents telling them about uh, my new friends that I've made. <laughs> and me, I've got. new scout master who told you to chop somebody's head off. And me, I'm trying to pick some of the uh, the the knots out of uh, Pawpaw's hair. Oh, my God. There's, <laughs> there's so many knots. It's so, so knotted. knotted. Okay, guys. Um. Uh, guys, please rate the podcast. It's a new podcast. Uh, Subscribe we could to really it. use it. Subscribe, Subscribe to it, baby. Five stars, Let's not another, another D&D podcast. One, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah too much rate, subscribe. Real... Like, yeah, do that, but like talk to people. Yeah. 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 We're Tell trying to do like a it. grassroots thing That's here. The Get on the <laughs> subreddit. They've already made a subreddit, not another D&D podcast. Oh, really? I'm Are I'm that, baby. baby. Check it out. Dope. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Jay Kerwitz, at Caldy, at e. Axford, at CH Murph. Guys, February 13th, Emily and I have a book coming out. It's called oh, Hey You Up too. How to Turn Your Booty Call into Your Emergency Contact. <laughs> yeah. uh, it's a satirical relationship think, advice book. Check it out. I got to think there's some overlap between people who love D&D and people who love satirical relationship right. advice. They yeah. like us. Right? That's, that's part right? of it. That's the full overlap. Anybody uh-huh. else got any plugs? Listen to If I Were You oh, with yeah. Jay Kerwitz. That's my You're podcast. on that podcast. Call, yeah. Uh, watch Jay- Trophy? Yeah, yeah, watch Trophy. <laughs> Trophy's great. You're allowed. Heck, man. Okay, guys. Watch the, uh, watch thanks the, so much. Watch The Fall on Netflix. Jillian Anderson's amazing. <laughs> yeah, and just on a that. recommendation. Just, just check out Jillian Anderson's she The Fall. She just looks so good swimming. Uh huh. Sure, I will do that. <laughs> oh, and listen <laughs> to 8 Bit Book Club with uh, me, Caldwell, and Emily. But yeah. not until yeah, after you've seen every episode of The Fall. <laughs> that is correct. Yes. You need to be, you need to be caught you up really on The Fall do. to get all the references. You, there are Emily does bring up The Fall a lot. Every yeah. single week. Okay, guys. So we'll pick up here next week with. Our, our intrepid heroes and all of the wait. people in this town as uh, they've just murdered a bunch of yeah, people. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking that I'm getting back in that kitchen and whipping us up some good jambalaya. <laughs> Ooh. Some of that good jambalaya. Some of that There's good blood jambalaya. Everywhere in this place. <laughs> right. Jamboree jambalaya. Bahamut, keep you all, and may the Baba Yaga not take you this night. Bye. That was a HeadGum Podcast. <laughs>